वेलकम बैक एवर वन टू अन द वीडियो एंड इन दिस वन विल बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट गूगल्स फूशा ओ एस वंस अगेन एंड दिस टाइम इट्स विद द वर्कन ग्राफिक्स ए पी आई नाउ अगेन दिस इज द न्यू सॉर्ट ऑफ ए पी आई एवरी वन जम्पिंग अपॉन इट सो अगेन द फ्यूशा प्रोजेक्ट टुक लीप एंड डिसाइडेड टू इंक्लूड दैट इन देर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एनवायरमेंट सो देर रेंडर फॉर वर्कन इज कॉल्ड एशर और दे माइट हैव जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू नेम एस it h and ended up replacing the t with an s if not they were probably referring to mc escher who was a dutch uh, artist so uh, yeah so escher is their uh, renderer for vulcan and now sadly we cannot go ahead and launch the uh, vulcan os on qemo and then run the uh, api in the operating system itself since the qemo uh, since qemo cannot uh virtualize the gpu itself so it won't be virtualizing my 90 uh, gtx 960 instead it would be re- running on some sort of a software renderer which does not support vulkan at the moment so we will need to uh run this uh asher waterfall demo uh, natively on our desktop and this is what we are going to do now let's go ahead and uh, test uh, check it out now we have our fuchsia uh, you know all set up and the build tool set up if i go ahead and execute it it doesn't work it uh, fails and it aborts the uh, the whole program itself with a error saying that the actual screen width is not the same as the uh, width that it has detected for some reason it is detecting the monitor as 1440p but in reality the monitor is just 1080p so that is an issue right now to solve this there are two ways of doing it uh, the first one is to uh, comment out two lines in the demo harness dot cc the ftl check for height and the ftl check for width and then in paper render dot cc uh, to comment out the ftl check for where was it um the ftl check for again a uh, down sample down sample factor for width and height this would enable to bypass any sort of uh, checks that it does and then uh, run the demo natively at 1440p uh, but instead of doing that i will actually go ahead and just simply add uh, the height and width variables to the waterfall main dot cc and that seems to work as well and then we are rendering at um native 1080p rather than something like 1440p which just doesn't make any sense since my monitor is not actually 1440p so let's go ahead and uh, now run this and finally you can see the demo on your screen uh it might be a bit choppy for you because i am recording the screen at 30 fps uh instead of 60 but anyways it's giving out a good frame rate we'll look at all of that in a moment but we have a few controls here so for example with the c key we can change the angle uh with the d key it shows us a bit more laid structure of the uh demo and then with the a key we can turn on and off ssdo uh and again turn on ssdo uh with that done we also have the t key to temporarily pause the whole demo and then press it again to resume and then uh we from our numeric keys we can go from one is our main demo that we are running to our second demo that changes it to a bit different uh graphics uh thing uh and then you can see like the interesting patterns that turn on on the layered stuff where it shows all the different layers of the rendering so then we can move on to our third demo and then again uh you know take a look at it at a different angle uh now at this point i would like to uh you know point out a thing that uh, maybe it's because uh, i am not running it uh you know at a native resolution or something else the alignment between the shadow effect and the actual uh, fill uh, of the shape uh the color fill of the shape and then the uh, shadow and outline of the shape doesn't really match up you can see they are a few centimeters apart there uh and that is probably maybe some the code needs a bit more tune up or it's just because i am 
uh, you know not running it at a native 1440p in a native 1440p screen maybe that's why uh, but uh, I think it would be solved in a future so whenever the code gets updated so let's uh, move ahead with our fourth demo which is again more shapes and more stuff and again there is a heavy usage of the material design you know shadowy shadowy kind of a thing there uh, then we have our fifth demo which is again a few more stuff flying off uh, at different angles uh, and then you can uh, with this here you can see the height difference uh, and then we have our sixth demo which is again stuff rotating around our seventh demo is simply our I guess what was it the third one or the fourth one in a different shade and our eighth one is again the same demo in a different set of shades uh, so is our ninth one and our tenth one so this was about it for fuchsia demo now let's take a look at the output you can see that we were running uh, at an average of 60 fps now i have increased uh, the resolution and the frames didn't seem to drop so uh, what my guess is it is uh, vertical syncing with the refresh rate so v sync is on and that is why we are not getting like the full uh, fps the gpu is probably uh, being uh, not utilized as much since the frame rate is limited to around 60 now throughout the whole um, sort of the log here there is no mention that it is running on Vulkan but uh, rest assured this is Vulkan uh, except for a fact that you know, uh, when I exit the program there are a few uh, messages that turn up in the um, in the log where it does uh, show that you are actually uh, that we are actually using Vulkan and VK images and the Vulkan based extension so that was it for today's video uh, i really hope that i was uh, i should have been able to uh, you know run it inside the actual os but for now uh, it's not possible for obvious reasons uh, we don't right now have the technology to virtualize gpu at the consumer level of course it probably has been done at the uh, server level or the enterprise level but for me it's not possible to you know virtualize the whole cpu and then uh, the whole gpu and run vulkan on it but for uh, with that being said uh, if you want to test it a few heads up you would need a gpu that is capable of running vulkan so mesa 12.0 now since it is using mesa for intel i'm pretty sure it should work as well on the AMD's open source GPU driver don't count in on that because it doesn't necessarily uh, mention all of that stuff but uh, uh, if it's using MESA then that should work as well and for NVIDIA you should have uh, 367 plus that is uh, easily uh, the default driver that you can find on Ubuntu uh, now for my driver version I'll just con confirm here and go into the NVIDIA control panel and the driver version is 375.66 this is again not uh, installed separately but the uh, GPU driver that is uh, in the Ubuntu repository so that was it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one uh, thanks for commenting liking and subscribing